All right, another wet, very wet um, walk and talk. Uh, should be some way to say that. Uh, but anyway, yeah, to be serious, I have to comment on one of my videos. Um, again, griping. You know, that I, you know, and I actually watched this video that she had referenced. And, you know, she pointed it out again. Um, and just really irritating, you know, this obnoxious um, rhetoric that somehow I'm, you know, unwilling to absorb argument. No, I'm willing to absorb argument. I'm willing to listen. But, yeah, I'm not going to read, uh, you know, volumes of your select authors. Um, I just think that's bogus. I mean, you, you should be able to make an argument synopsizing the content. Um, you know, that, that you know, makes it possible. You know, because anybody can do this. Anybody can just say, well, you haven't read the, you know, W42 volume of the New King James Revised Version of the Bible, and therefore you are not a qualified to judge the credibility of our religion. And that's just a pile of crap. So, um, but anyway, yeah, I watched this video about this guy talking about game theory, and it was just the same old, it was sort of just tripe. And the only new addition to the argument is that, yeah, well, um, we have a memory. So we, we base our game theory strategy on the fact that um, we have a previous experience and that we're going to have future experiences. And so sometimes we will do things because we know that uh, this might get me a profit in the future. And so it is, again, just selfishness anyway. Uh, we, are, we do play each other, there's no doubt about it. We do it with all our associations with people. Sometimes we're nicer to people than we would be otherwise. Because we know they might come in handy someday, so we don't offend them. You know, we don't tell them the truth. Um, and so I guess that would all fall into the category of this game theory crap. Um, but I would say that decisively again, the argument's going to fall on the fact that uh, we're just scheming. We're, we're just playing the game. Um, you know, and we're not doing the uh, let's uh, altruism thing. We're doing the um, how can I manipulate the circumstance to my advantage thing. And that's written all over uh, the game, unfortunately. And I didn't make up this reality. I mean, I didn't make up the reality that we are individual, selfish, beings that are going to tend to act in our own interest. I'm not advocating that people do that. I've extensively made videos that our intelligence should oblige us to do better. I've even quoted Jeebus Christ and advocated that we should be willing to almost sacrifice ourselves um, for the good, the, the, the do-gooder uh, strategy and philosophy. So I don't know why all this harping uh, to me. I understand the concept thoroughly. Um, so anyway, back to this particular argument being made uh, that somehow it changes the mode of the game. And unfortunately, again, I think it changes it in a lot of negative ways as well as positive ways. And I think that was proven in the Q&A. The guy didn't have a good explanation for the Hitler example where, you know, cooperation is really bad when the evil cooperates with the evil to do evil. Um, so, you know, cooperation doesn't mean much. It has to be um, purposeful and uh, truly uh, benign, if that's the right word to use, or, or giving, or altruistic in its objective. And obviously, most of our interactions are not altruistic. We see even all these little organizations. I watched some documentary. Um, you know, one of that, uh, not Daniel Dennett, but the other guy. Uh, that Arthur guy. Well, anyway, documentary, blah, blah, blah. You know, about how almost we should go back to tribal life or some kind of crap and, you know, anti-civilization stuff. But totally impractical. Um, but anyway, we talked about Greenpeace and, you know, these other organizations and how they've basically, um, you know, sold out. <laughs> and so their altruism turned into personal interest. And that's the other problem here. So it's, 
is the migration. So even when something starts off right, it can get perverted so easily by the fact that you know the individual human beings might be altruistic in their own selfish to their own selfish advantage. They might just want the label of goo do-gooder because that label will be something they'll be able to sell to BP, you know. I'm a do-gooder. Uh, so now I've got the official do-gooder label. Now I can sell myself to a corporation and live uh, a comfortable life. And uh, this is the nature of human beings. They suck. Oh, shit. Water's way too high, I think. Ugh. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I have to talk louder because the stream is rather angry. Um, fuck this rain. I have to look it up, man. This must be like a, a record amount of rain this spring. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, where was I? Um, yeah, so whatever. Um, but yeah, this whole way we argue, I guess, is the, the what underlies this whole thing. Because her next video, she's basically um, arguing again that somehow it's all gang mentality and the Borg owns people's psychology and they're just talking out of agreement or some other kind of bullshit and it's all this this crap i mean i am not sitting here making borg arguments i'm not sitting here you know wearing my credentials on my shirt because i don't have any um but if i had them i don't think i would use them uh i make arguments and i expect people to make counter arguments and a counter argument isn't a a fucking wikipedia page with, uh, you know, 433 references uh, that you are somehow obliging me to refute. I mean, screw that shit. I mean, that's, that's vital if you're making a straightforward, direct argument. If you directly say the moon is made out of cream cheese, um, and here's the proof, and you direct me to the evidence, that's legitimate. But if you're going to make ambiguous statements, and then give me this ambiguous proof that, well, this guy wrote a book that's a little bit on the subject where he kind of implies, well, you got to do a lot better than that. I mean, kind of implies is not good enough. Huh. This is not too good. I'm obviously going to get wet. All right. Well, just fuck it. I'm going to have to get wet. There's no way to win here. Don't want to fall in though. Ooh. Ooh. There's the fucking thing there. Ooh. 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 It's a rock. Not a proper cement block. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. Wobble. All right. I made it. Ugh. <laughs> uh, anyway, so <laughs> water's squirting up at me. Uh, anyway, it's cold. My feet are cold now. Boom. Um, yeah, it's just very nice here, though. Very, very lovely, pleasant. Blah 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 blah. What's the battery doing? Anyway, so, oh, son. Sorry about that one. Switch hands. That might help. Yeah, I'm using the other camera, the high definition bullshit. So I probably should cut this short because it'd be a monstrous file. Um, yeah, but the, yeah, the arguing about arguing is a good argument. Let's argue about how we have a debate and how we present the evidence and how we uh, frame the evidence. Um, but, you know, you're the one who put the word altruism in the title of your video. And I think I have a right uh, to claim that that word um, is a little bit messy. And uh, I qualified my statements by defining the word, giving it more substance, and made the argument that if you're acting out of programming because you've been enslaved to do something, or if you're acting because you're in love, 
or if you're acting because of some other self-interest, that it really shouldn't be called altruism. Because you're not really giving for the mere purpose of giving. Uh, you're not giving because you understand their comfort has the same meaning or value as your comfort. Um, and you're not doing it for some rational perception of value. I guess that's another important word, is that if it's a subjective, personal, uh, you know, like, I love kittens, but I hate rats. Um, if th that's a cheat. That sort of breaks the altruism if you're kind to kittens because they're cute and you're abusive to rats because they're ugly. Um, that's sort of a, uh, that sort of breaks the concept. I mean, the concept is about a sincere will to do good uh, regardless of personal taste, personal preference, personal prejudice, um, personal interest. Uh, and that now narrows altruism to a tiny segment of human behavior. You have to concede that fitting in that definition would qualify only a tiny shred of uh, the, the mass of, of human behavior. Um, okay, what else can be argued that I haven't argued? I mean, most of this I've already argued, that, uh, that it really can't be turned into a genetic function. There's no way to create an organism or, or reformat us to be altruistic because you'd have to format us to have a personal incentive. And so that's not altruism anymore, that's programming. That's just turning us into the hive mentality. The very thing you're arguing against is the very thing uh, formatting for altruism would be creating. You just turn us into drones, servants to ideals. Um, instead of being willful servants, based on intellectual understanding, uh, you're almost arguing that we need to be genetically programmed to do the right thing. Uh, then we're not uh, free agents anymore, quote unquote. Uh, we're not altruizing, we're again self-interesting. Uh, because we've been programmed to want it, to be horny for it. Uh, so it just kind of just defeats the whole purpose. The, the whole thing is, is, you can't defeat the purpose, but there's no purpose. That's part of the whole defeat. All there is is defeat. The system is defeat. Uh, so no matter how you look at this, you're either Borg or you're futile. That's, you know, that's your two choices, Borg or futility. Uh, there's nothing else. Uh, contrived, stupid, self-perpetuating, nonsensical momentum, or you stop and die. That's, you know, this, these are our two choices. There really isn't anything else um, as a future, as a paradigm. I'm not saying your individual life is like that because we live in a, a world where there's a lot of harm taking place, so we can have purpose by merely millerating against the harm. We can, we can be useful because there's so much harm that needs to be stopped. Uh, but in a world that didn't have that harm, our usefulness would be impossible to contrive. Uh, all right, that's enough. So, but yeah, this constant nagging that I'm unwilling to uh, take in new information is bullshit. I'm just not gonna waste a huge percentage of my valuable time unless you can make, you know, you have to do some kind of pre-argument. You have to set up the argument where you're, you're making some kind of real statement and you got some real evidence. But ambiguous, like I said, this guy was just, he didn't give any specific examples. It was utterly useless. The only thing he basically said was, yeah, well, we have a memory, and so that changes our interactions, and the number of permutations changes game theory. Well, duh. I, I'm, I'm, you know, 
it says it's a valid point, but to me, that's not exactly ground shaking. Um, seems kind of an obvious fact of our existence, uh, you know, that we have a history and that that history programs us. Yeah, sure does. Uh, anyway, yeah, so anyway, till next time, enough of a rant. Uh, shit. I'm sick of rain. Yeah, it's pretty though. Pretty, 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 pretty. So what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's lots of pretty things in the world. But, lots of ugly things in the world. Anyway, till next time, and such.